I'm Shadow 2 Bravo, and today we're going to talk about how even after the entire trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, Ethan Klein doesn't have the intellectual honesty to understand even the very basic of facts. It's been nearly 15 months, and Ethan is either too lazy or too stupid to even watch the videos or watch the trial. The part where Kyle's guilty is that he went to a protest that had nothing to do with them. This is lie number one. Kyle worked in Kenosha. His father, grandmother, and his best friend all lived there. Kenosha is only a 20-minute drive from his home in Antioch. Armed and created an unsafe situation. So I would say while the people he killed and shot, I would say, you know, you can legally say was in self-defense. Um, and looking over the details and stuff. Ethan, you're off to a poor start considering you already have the most basic of facts wrong. But he fucking went there to a, a volatile protest. Okay. I think the word you're looking for is riot, Ethan. Not a volatile protest, a fucking riot. These people are protesting an unarmed black man being killed by the police. Police deploy a stun gun multiple times. Blake pulls the prongs out of his skin. Officer Shesky and Blake end up in a physical altercation on the ground. We see you, you walk away from the officers after they try to grab you. At that point, I'm rattled, you know. I realized I had dropped my knife. An unarmed black man. I realized I had dropped my knife, had a little pocket knife. So I picked it up after I got off of him. Line number two. Jacob Blake is clearly alive, as you can see, and as you can hear, he admits to fighting with the cops, pulling the taser barbs out of his skin, and he had to get off of one of them, and then he grabbed his knife. Ethan, did you do any research at all? This is an extremely volatile protest. They're burning shit. They're rioting. He goes there with a gun. What the fuck do you expect to happen? Okay. You're going to run into another protester with a gun. Wait, so which is it, Ethan? Is bringing a gun good, or is it bad? If it's bad for Kyle to bring a gun into a riot, why isn't it bad that the rioters also have guns? He's going there expecting to get in a fucking gunfight, or knowing that's a strong possibility. There was no reason for him to be there. There was no need for him to be there. The fact of that being that the only violence that took place that night was the people he killed. If it's a riot, Ethan... How can you possibly say that the only violence that happened that night was when Kyle shot people that were attacking him? Isn't attacking someone also violence? Don't we consider burning down buildings, burning cars also violence? Yeah, the only people who died were the two that he killed. So Exactly. Right, so that's If he was preventing proof, violence, then he failed in that mission. That's proof that he was the reason for that violent situation. The entire situation started because people like you were uninformed about Jacob Blake. These people spent two days burning down businesses and beating the shit out of people. The idea that because people attacked Kyle, leading to him having to defend himself, equaling Kyle being the cause of the violence, well that's just insane. If I attacked you, Ethan, and caused you to defend yourself... Who started the violence? The problem is that if you're at a protest and you see somebody shoots one of the protesters there. There is no evidence that Anthony Huber, Jump Kick Man, or Gage Grosgrich saw Kyle shoot Rosenbaum. In fact, as Kyle's running towards the police, Gage is running next to him asking him, where is he going? What's, what's happening? And Kyle responds, I'm going to the cops. Kyle created that situation by being there, right? No, 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 no. Kyle did not create this situation at all. The rioters did. Ethan, they were the ones that burnt down the car lots the night before. Kyle was there at the behest of the car lot owners. Do you not know anything about this case? So, you know, the thing is they tried to get him on murder and stuff, and I didn't think... I feel like you could have got him on manslaughter or something where he created They 100% this... overcharged him. Yeah. yeah it was like, insane. Obviously, I don't think Kyle... It, it's a manslaughter. He created this fucking horrible situation that he put himself in that he needed, didn't need to be there that resulted in two people dying and one person maimed. 
you know, they overcharged him. And he, I don't think, like, again, he he was acting in self-defense. The issue is that he created this situation. And so he should have been charged for manslaughter or something like that, which I do think he's guilty of. Ethan, you can't be guilty of manslaughter in a self-defense case. No matter how many times you keep trying to say, Kyle created this situation, doesn't in fact make it true. He shouldn't have been charged with anything. And we had the video 15 minutes after it happened. This isn't news. This is one of the most clear-cut cases of self-defense you're ever going to see. You Uh, gotta, you gotta do a whole breadth of charges. Like he was traveling in. He he was traveling interstate with a weapon. My God, man, are you still talking? We knew in 2020 that the gun never left the state of Wisconsin. It was always kept at Dominic Black's house. You know. Kyle's best friend? This is basic, Ethan. Have some damn self-pride, Ethan. Read about the case and then talk about it. It's not that hard. People are saying bad take. Why is it a bad take? If you think it's a bad take, call in right fucking now and debate me. Give me your number and I'll walk you through the entire case. I'll do it slowly so you and that brain-dead crew you have can understand. Yeah, and I mean, the, uh, like you said, I think the really pertinent thing is that it, it, if you narrowly examine it to just the specific incidents leading up to the shooting, which is what the trial ended up being, because that's, you know, they did not allow a lot of extraneous circumstances or evidence to become a part of the trial. Wait, you're telling me this trial was about alleged crimes? Color me shock, Winston. Why would we allow other circumstances to be entered into this trial? This trial was about Kyle shooting three people. Um, But like you said, from that point on, the people, he is in the middle of a crowd, just shot somebody, and it's a chaotic situation. Not everybody knows what's going on. Okay. So not everybody knows what's going on. Let's see where this line of thinking goes. And the other dudes were just trying to stop what they thought was an active shooter. Just That's like exactly said. what I said. Yeah. He created a situation. Yeah. He created a situation that once you shot this guy, even if he was chasing you down, even if he was chasing you down, yeah. he created a situation that once you shot this guy, people are going to reasonably think that you're just shooting protesters and they have every fucking right. In fact, it's even heroic of them to step in in the interest of their self-defense and the people around them self-defense. Right. These criminals can't claim self-defense because Kyle's not attacking them or aggressing on them. In fact, he's literally running towards the cops, Ethan. These criminals can't claim self-defense while attacking someone who's running away. This is basic. How do you not know this? So, again, he's responsible for the situation being volatile and, and, and out of control there. Even if he was chasing you down. Right. You know. And, yeah, like you said, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. You couldn't be more wrong about him not being there. The state had given up protecting the community, and few adults were willing to stand in that gap in front of a mob of rioters. Kyle, while underprepared and undertrained, he did take it upon himself to protect his community from violent thugs. The only person involved that night who wasn't a career criminal, you guessed it, was Kyle. You should want men like Kyle in your community. Kyle was old enough to die in some shithole country across the world for this country. But now you're telling me he's not old enough to protect his community. Well, you can get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. The only time someone got hurt is because people dead are the ones that he killed. Exactly. Exactly. Showing up with a gun is anticipating (laughs) violence. Yeah. Showing up with a gun is anticipating violence. Yes, and I wonder why Kyle would have thought there might have been violence that night. I don't know, maybe because there had been days of rioting before that? This line of thinking is incredibly stupid. It's like saying, why did you wear your seatbelt? Were you anticipating getting into a wreck that day? He literally had a fire extinguisher in his hand until somebody jumped him and aimed a gun at him. He did not instigate. Nobody... What else was in his hand? A-, a gun. Kyle had a gun in his hand, along with a fire extinguisher. Having a gun in your hand is a right in this country. It's incredible that these people think that you forfeit your right to self-defense the moment you start carrying a gun. The rest of this clip goes on for another three minutes of Ethan repeatedly showing he clearly doesn't know anything about the case. In fact, Baldy over here has to correct him 
about whether or not Gage actually did point a gun at Kyle. One of the most incredible things about this clip is that not a single time does a single person say that the rioters shouldn't have been burning down the city. They never condemn anyone else for having a gun. It's just Kyle that they continually denigrate and lie about. This 12-minute clip shows just how incredibly ill-informed people are, and these are the kind of people that continue to vote. Stay informed. Protect freedom. Send it.